Okay, in the uh, previous video, I showed how to download and install IPFS, one of the IPFS nodes on your own computer. And my IPFS node is installed, it's connected, and it's operating. We'll have a look at it here. And uh, it's, it's the node, it's, it's exactly the same node as the node that I showed you last time. IPFS, recall, stands for Interplanetary File System. It's a distributed network of freestanding nodes like the one that I installed. And the idea is that you can use it as a file system. So what we're gonna do in this video is um, load some files onto the IPFS and be part of that distributed global network. Now, I'm using a website called hosting a website on IPFS. Uh, interestingly, you'll know it is already on IPFS, so it's very self-referential, by uh, Gio D'Amelio. So first step is install IPFS. If you haven't done that yet, consult my previous video and you can see that. Next thing is to create a simple static website. Static because, you know, we can't use content management systems or anything like that um, at this point. You know, we can't have this real dynamic changing site at the moment. Um, so we'll just have a simple website. So uh, here's a uh, hello world file and here's a uh, some CSS. So I've done that. Here's my uh, hello world file and uh, here's my style sheet. And uh, so I've saved them to um, my directory and my directory is here. I saved it into a directory called IPFS site, and here they are, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do, we'll go back to the site for instructions, add to IPFS. So what I need to do is fire up a new copy of PowerShell. So zing, here it is. Now, last video I was typing up the full uh, file name for this but in fact you can just go period slash IPFS and that works just as well and we'll do that and then add recursively and then site so the site in our case we called it remember uh, we called it IPFS site that's just an indication of previous failed attempts to do things IPFS site and we'll hit enter. And why didn't that work? Um, because we're not in the right directory. So CD, we'll go into the right directory. Now we're in the right directory. We'll execute this command. And here we go. So you see what we've done, right? Um, we've created a hash-based address for this site. Uh, the index.html, we've created a hash-based address for style.css and then a hash-based address for the site as a whole. And we can actually view that now. If we, uh, let's just copy this address and then uh, I used a, a right click to copy it. And then we'll go back here and instead of his hash thing. You see he's got subdirectories in that in there. Um, we'll put ours. I just hit uh, control V for paste and I'll hit enter. And there we are. Hello IPFS published on interplanetary file system. It really is that simple. Uh, there is in theory a way to do it with the, um, the IPFS helper that's running on Firefox. Here it is running on my Firefox, the upper right hand corner there. Uh, I click on that, the IPFS companion thing comes down um, and I can copy some of the various uh, resources or it says I can share files via IPFS. So yeah, I could do that. Just here's a trick. Uh, that I learned one well one trick I learned is trying to file 
shared directories but if you just share one file it'll only share that one file and it won't share the other files so you gotta select all of the files together that you want to share open and then it pops you in and here we are we see it again right um, so in theory um, there's other ways to do it upload options so let's you know, wrap them in a directory to preserve their file names pin them so they are retained when performing garbage collection those are some of the options um, we could go to the web ui this web ui for the uh, ipfs companion app this is showing the activity on my ipfs node this is the uh, the peer id it's the hash based address of my node basically what this is is a hash of my public key and that's what becomes my address on ipfs so uh, one of the issues with this is it's not detecting the files on my node i don't know why it isn't um, and then if you click this add to add file will work and, and sort of and again we have to use that trick from before and that adds them both so here they are and now I can delete them rename them download them inspect them etc copy the hash which is this right I'm going to inspect them so now I'm inspecting it uh, not sure what that blue circle is probably the number of nodes that has it which would be one uh, but that's okay and then view this on the IPFS gateway so let's try that and here I am viewing it so now you see what's happened right it's lost track of the other file so it's not showing the green CSS now that seems to be a problem with this companion app don't know why it's broken like that um, pretty sure it is broken I don't think I've gone through this a bunch of times now I don't think I'm doing anything wrong um, which is, which is uh, I guess a good thing um, I also have noticed that if I try to simply add the folder uh, say this IPFS site this is gonna fail see it just it just fails to add so there's something not quite right between uh, this plugin and the uh, IPFS uh, node that's running on my computer uh, similarly add by path um, I've tried this IPFS site and we're again since not even going to give it to me here uh, so there's no way to do that and new folder I've tried that you can create a new folder but it doesn't save your files so um, yeah not perfect uh, maybe if I made a folder underneath this IPFS folder that might do the trick um, but uh, still not perfect um, this is interesting though the uh, IPFS uh, companion app does give you the chance to explore some other things here's the XKCD site uh, could be faster but there you go these are all the individual cartoons in XKCD and so here's one of them and see all the, the, the different pieces uh, view on IPFS gateway now we're looking at the IPFS gateway so you see there's three parts to his file the actual drawing the transcript and then some alt text which is the little highlight thing um, you know the, the little caption that comes up so let's look at see here's his uh, boy this must be an early one I wonder where I'll float next <laughs> okay and then this is the uh, don't we all transcript right just a transcript of the whole thing um, so not quite the same experience um, as uh, viewing XKCD on the XKCD website but there you have it uh, that's all I have for this I played around with this quite a bit today trying to figure this out and uh, like I say I've, I've concluded that some stuff isn't working perfectly um, through no fault of anybody's it's, you know it's still 
a thing in the making. Um, and it might not be IPFS that we end up with in the long run. It might be an IPFS-like system. Uh, but meanwhile, um, I'm going to mess with this and uh, see if we can't use this to create some uh, content addressable resources for education. So I'm Stephen Downs, this is eLearning 3.0, and we'll call it a wrap with that.